You know, midges emerge on every trout stream in the world every day of the year, every day of the season. You have to be prepared to fish midges. And everybody shies away from fishing midges initially until they finally get into it and go, my God, I've never had more fun fishing a dry fly. It's so visual. There's so many fish rising. I was on the river today. It's the end of November. Fish rising like crazy to, to midges. And one of the most important patterns, one of the most effective and easy to tie, you can tie 100 of these an hour, is our improved Zeon midge. And to tie it, once again, we're going to lay a little base of our working thread, which is 8-0 olive dun. You can use 8-0 light olive. You can use 8-0 rusty dun to imitate whatever color of midge you have in your area. Most of our midges are imitated by either olive or light dun. Now we're going to dub, I'm sorry, we're going to tie the shuck on, and the shuck is dark dun or medium dun zelon. And now we're going to tie the wing on. We're going to go forward just forward of a halfway up the hook shank, and we're going to figure eight a wing of zelon onto the hook shank. And next time I'm going to trim it, and then I'm going to show you a view from up on top. I hope you can see that. There's the wing of Zelon. And now simply with our, and this is very important, this dubbing. It's called Midge Black Zelon Dubbing. It's got a little bit of sparkle in it, a few guard hairs. Dead realism in terms of the legs of a midge. But you want to do a fairly slight body. You don't want a big fat body because I've never met a fat midge yet. There's one fiber that's driving me nuts and it's gone. Okay, now take this back. Tie it just forward of the shuck. Now carry this forward to a point just beyond, behind the uh, tying point of the wing. Now I'll go forward and fill that in, and now figure eight around the wing. And if you want, you can actually force the wing back with your thorax, thorax, and leave it just as is. Notice how that is. You can see the guard hairs, and they imitate, like this guy here, they imitate the legs of a midge, and midges have extremely long legs. And now whip finish. This fly will work as well as any other midge pattern, and I guarantee it's easier to tie than any other midge pattern, the improved Zeland midge.